Our ship has arrived near our discharging port, but due to congestion, we were instructed to stay a few miles offshore at the anchorage area for a few days to await our turn to enter. Whenever ships are at anchor for an extended period, this presents a lot of opportunities. First and foremost is the opportunity to carry out jobs that can be done safely and much easier while the ship is not moving. At the moment, our ship is in dire need of de-rusting and painting, mostly in high places, so it was a good opportunity for the deck team to do some work while sitting on the bosun's chair. That's actually the bosun sitting on the bosun's chair. But the opportunities presented were not all about work. At the end of a long day is a period for rest and, if possible, some recreation. While the ship is at anchor, there is a chance that the ship will stay at a good spot for fishing. And as luck may have it, we were right on top of one of those spots. About seven in the evening, but <laughs> the sun is still up. And so the guys decided to go do some fishing and see what they caught. A few days earlier, a few of the crew cast some fishing lines to see if any fish will bite. Oh, makano kido nyan? Eventually, they found out that the perfect time to catch fish in our spot was around 6 to 8 in the evening. It seems that a school of mackerel always passes by during those hours. By the time I came down at around 7 p.m., they already had one bucket full of freshly caught fish. Catching fish is one of the activities that seafarers do to pass the time. On our ship, where internet access is very limited, you have to find other means of entertaining yourself during your free time. I know some people will ask why seafarers have to do this since ships are usually well provided with provisions and are not really in immediate danger of starvation. Well, we do get supplied with food, including fish. But bear in mind that the fish supplied to ships are frozen and we don't really know how long they have been frozen before being delivered to our ship. And once delivered, these frozen food will stay in our freezer for at least a month, sometimes more, depending on the ship's voyage. So sometimes, the fish that is served in our meals are not really very appetizing. This is not always the case, but there is a very big difference in taste, texture, and overall quality between freshly caught fish and fish that has been frozen for months. So it really is a big morale booster for seafarers whenever they catch plenty of fish with more than enough to add to their provisions.
Apparently, we really were on a good spot. I wanted to get some footage of me pretending to catch fish, but even though I just wanted to pose for videos, the fish had other ideas. As time went by, fewer and fewer fish were biting. They probably moved away to a different spot by now, but we have already caught a little over two buckets full. So now, it's time to cook. So this is just how it is on board a ship. It doesn't really take much to make seafarers happy. Uh, it could be something as simple as catching fish, and then it turns into an impromptu grilling party. The dishes were simple. There was rice, of course. We had some of the fish fried and some of it grilled. We also had some of the fish cooked into sinigang. It's a Filipino soup which is tamarind based. The light sourness and the slight spiciness really complements the flavor of the freshly caught fish. Simple and meager as the food may be, activities like this help in building a strong bond between the shipmates. From the highest ranking officers to the lowest ranking crew members, Having meals together and enjoying each other's company after a long day of work go a very long way in developing camaraderie, which of course develops a good working environment for everyone on board.